Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to use Batch Slip Sheet in Bluebeam Review. Batch Slip Sheet, found only in Review Extreme, makes the process of slip sheeting multiple files fast and painless. In our thumbnails panel editing options tutorial video you learned how to slip sheet the manual way with replace pages. But that only lets you do one page at a time. With Batch Slip Sheet, you can slip sheet multiple pages at once, or even an entire folder of files. Review Auto matches the revisions to the original files based on common file naming conventions. With Batch Slip Sheet you have the option to replace the original with the revised sheet or you can prepend the file in front of the original. If you prepend, you have the option of adding a superseded stamp to the original so it's very clear it's the old sheet. From the menu bar go to Batch, then Slip Sheet. The Batch Slip Sheet dialog appears, letting you select your files. You can choose from a number of different options including whole folders of documents. First add the original files which you can select from the file explorer. Next find your revised files and add those. Not all files need to have a match so if there's an additional file there that's just fine. Next, you need to tell review what to look for when matching pages. There are several options that might be useful depending on how your documents are set up. You can select page region and select the information you want to match to in the title block of the page for instance. As all the files have accurate file names, you can select to match by file name and page index. Click match pages and review is going to go through those two sets of files and find the match for each one. Review found matches for those files and it's helpful to know that review is preloaded with over a dozen common naming conventions for revised files. Your file might end in underscore rev1 but it could also be underscore revision1. Review will recognize those as revisions. If using an unusual naming convention or you don't find any matches automatically you're going to want to go back to the previous screen and select manual correlation and you can match them up manually. You now have to choose whether to replace current pages with revised pages or insert the revised pages before the current page so that you have a history of the revisions. In this case, make sure that replace is selected and that copy markups from current pages to revised pages is checked. It will copy hyperlinks, spaces, and bookmarks as well. There are also some options for flattening if you want to do that in addition to slip sheeting. Click OK and review is going to slip sheet those pages for you. You'll see now that you have a summary of the results that review did in this batch process. In this case there are no unmatched pages. You can select to create either PDF or CSV report of all slip sheeted changes that review did in this process. You can edit the destination and file name and then check open file after creation and select OK. You'll see this report has automatically hyperlinked all the files. Review users like to have this report because if there is ever a dispute, they now have a paper trail showing what pages were slip sheeted with links to all the pages in question. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.